Welcome to Make Something With Me, David Petruto, and today we're going to make this mailbox with an inlaid house number. Check it. Today's video is sponsored by Tools Today, your source for industrial cutting tools. Toolstoday.com. So Tools Today reached out to me and said, do you have any ideas where we can show off some of our bits? I need to make a mailbox and I want to do some inlay. So what a perfect project. We're going to use the CNC for this project for most of it. Did he just say he's going to use the CNC? I'm out of here. So here's the thing. Even if you don't have a CNC, you're gonna, we're gonna have fun today. This video is gonna be about having fun. This video is going to be about using alternative tools. I wanna show you that there's more than one way to do something and I wanted to limit myself. So I'm not gonna use any stationary tools for this project. I'm gonna cut everything out on the CNC. I'm gonna use a router for the joinery and then drills and make my own plugs for this. This is gonna be fun. The main purpose today is to have fun. The very first thing we're going to do is cut out the main pieces over on the CNC. Oh, you don't have a CNC? You don't have access to a CNC? Use a jigsaw, use a table saw, go to your friend's house. Maybe your local school has a CNC. Maybe your makerspace has a CNC. Maybe you just wanna have fun today with me. Let's get started. I've got this beautiful piece of walnut that I got from Kencraft, my local hardwood dealer. This thing is gorgeous, this is beautiful. So, don't this up, Petruto. I'm going to use a roll of double-sided tape and tape down my board directly to the waste board. This is going to be the front of the mailbox. This is what we're going to use for the inlay. I'm going to use router bit number 46292 and that is a 18 inch bit. All right, looking good. So I'm going to carve a little V groove around here just as a decorative little piece. Check this out, this is awesome. This will save you tons of money. You can change the blade in this bit once it gets dull, so you don't have to replace the whole bit. You change the blade in the bit. How cool is that? Saves you money, saves the environment, it saves the dolphins. Let's put this in there. Now we're going to cut out the shape of the front. This is a solid carbide spiral quarter inch diameter, bit number 46102. We're gonna clamp this down again using some double-sided tape. We're gonna lift this out of here. You even lift, bro? So now it's time to cut the numbers that we use for the inlay. I have this piece of maple here. Pop this guy off. A little bit of popping and locking. All right, we're gonna glue these guys in here. Now I'm gonna paint this V groove. All right, so I got a Tools Today bit in my router here, and I'm going to cut a rabbit on the back piece that's going to ex There's no doubt that would be easier, much easier on a table saw. It is no secret, I really do not like using routers. So we now have our little 
rabbits, what we can do is we can glue everything up and then reinforce this with some dowels. Who's in your house? If I had a shoulder plane, I'd probably take a shoulder plane to that. I ain't worried about it. Glue it up, see what happens. I love shopping at toolstoday.com. It's where I get all my CNC end mills and router bits and drill bits. I've been using them for a long time, even before they sponsored this video. Check this out. They have the largest selection of carbide tip, solid carbide, and insert carbide tooling tools for all types of machinery. I ain't fooling. When you order from toolstoday.com, they provide same day shipping. Every product comes with a 100% customer satisfaction warranty and easy return policy. Tools Today has a philosophy, and that is to keep things simple and to keep the things that I want in stock for easy and fast delivery. All right, enough script time. Real talk right here. Been using Tools Today for a long time for all my router bits. Look, they have router bits and CNC bits. They got plug cutters. Uh, even the drill bits that I'm using today comes from Tools Today. No joke. Really high quality, good stuff. And I wanna thank them for making this video possible. Check this out. This is going to drill my hole, countersink it, and it has this little bearing on here, not sure what it's called, that spins, so when you hit, when you get down to the wood, it doesn't mar the wood. This is the Nomar Carbide Tip Countersink with Adjustable Depth Stop. Who's in your house? You hit your head on that again? Can we talk about this? All right, so there's this light I have up here and the only reason this light lives here is so I can show off my tool board. And Eric hits his head on it at least four times every Tuesday that he comes over here to film. And it doesn't serve any practical purpose and I refuse to move it. Come over here, come over here, come over here. Check this out, check this out. We just put screws in front of this mailbox. How unsightly is that? My mailman does not want to see these screws. He might catch his sleeves on there. Yeah, he, this, is, this is not cool. Well, you know what we need to do? We need to plug them. Oh yeah. One of my favorite comments is when I use the Festool drill, followed up with the Black & Decker drill. I'm like, what's wrong with you? I also have some tools today, roundover bits. Got one mounted in my router right now. All right, so I had to sand the top and the bottom flush because we have these weird angles here and I didn't have a way to cut out those weird angles on the CNC, but it sanded down pretty quick and nice and easy. Then I put a rabbiting bit from Tools Today in my router and then routed a rabbit all along the bottom. And that's gonna hold our plywood bottom here that we're gonna cut out in the CNC. Everybody dance now. Take that down while it's drying. We're gonna hinge the top on here. I have this, what do you call this, Eric? Hinge. A hinge, a piano hinge, maybe. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Ah! I own that hacksaw. You have a lift, bro. I've never seen Lord of the Rings, but I just know that's that's the thing that's in there. That's the thing that's in there. <laughs> it's like the that's like the taco of movies for you. <laughs> oh, so Bob Claggett from I Like to Make Stuff said, "When you hit a million subscribers, you need to eat a taco on camera." <laughs> this bothers Eric. There's a crack in here. You see that little guy? I don't care. I'm gonna leave that in there. We're moving, and the person who gets this house after us, they can deal with the crack. They can deal with the crack problem. Is this not the most covered song of all time? I mean, I hear it in every single 
movie. Oh! <laughs> the old head fake. So here is where the mailbox is going to go. It's going to replace that one. It's going to hang right here. We're not going to do that today. It is raining and cold and nasty out. So what we're going to do is we're going to superimpose the mailbox on what it would look like. Who's in the house? All right, I think that came out great. Really like the finish on there. We are moving soon, so it'll be cool to drive by the house and see something that I made if it lasts. Who knows? I would like to give a super thanks to this week's top Patreon supporters. That's Derek Jacobson, Jonathan J. Katz Moses, Megan Payne, Brian McKnight, Chad Forrester, Timothy Allen, and Nathan Bird. If you want to find out how you can support me and my show, visit patreon.com slash Pachudo. I've got t-shirts, hoodies, stickers, plans, and books available on my website at makesomething.tv. I'd like to thank Tools Today for supporting this video and my channel. Without them, this would not be possible. Every single drill bit, end mill, and router bit came from toolstoday.com, so thank you guys. Links to all the tools that I use will be in the description down below. All right, that is it. As always, have fun, be safe, stay passionate, and make something. And cut.